What's up guys, Derek here. Today I wanna to talk about my favorite acoustic guitar capo and the process I went through to actually find which one fit my guitar the best. So without rambling on too much, let's get into the video. So my favorite acoustic guitar capo is this Kaiser, uh, I believe they call it the Quick Change Capo. I'll try and focus it in here. It looks something like this. I really like this capo, mainly because it's super easy uh, to put it on and quickly take it off and move it up the neck of the guitar. This capo is what they call or refer to as a clamp on capo. So you just pull down the lever and it clamps onto your guitar, kind of a, a fixed tension based on the spring in here, but it's super easy to clamp it on your guitar and start playing. The other thing I like about this too, and I'll talk about in a future video is you can actually do some alternate tuning stuff with these capos too, by just flipping it around and putting it on the string. So now that tuning is like an open E, uh, similar to like, or sorry, it's like a, a drop E, similar to like a drop D tuning. So this is my favorite capo, but I do want to show you guys how many capos I have on my desk here. So I don't have my second camera out, but let me show you really quick. Let me get my video out. So these are all the capos that I have. This is my desk here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different capos, seven different capos that I have um, that I've just accumulated throughout the years. A few reasons that, that that happened. One is I guarantee that there will be a point where you think that you lost your capo. So I know for me that this has happened all the time. You thought you lost your capo, you go and buy a new one, and then you find the one that you thought you lost the next day. That has happened to me many times. But the other thing that I think is really important is just kind of testing out what capo you like the best. Typically they range between, you know, 10 to 20 bucks. And so they're not too expensive. So my recommendation is just buying a few that you like. Some of the ones that I have are, I have this uh, Shub capo. Um, I'll try and get this focused in here. This is a screw on base capo. So instead of the Kaiser where it clamps on, this one screws on. These are really nice because you can dial in exactly how much tension you want. But the negative piece of, of these, or not really the negative piece, but the thing that I guess I don't really like about them is they take a little longer to, to change out. And then on top of that, if you screw this down too much and there's too much tension on the strings, it can throw the strings out of tune. Um, so then your guitar won't sound good. So I do like these, but I just find that the Kaiser is much more more convenient, much quicker too. Um, I do also have this G7 capo. Uh, these capos, I believe, are like 45, maybe even 50 bucks. I'm not sure. I haven't looked in a while. But these ones are super nice. Uh, it's also a clamp on base capo, but it's kind of a hybrid in the sense that you put it on, and then depending on how much you push this down, it's going to maintain that tension. So I do like these, but I don't think that the price point justifies, uh, you know, the capability of the capo. I think that the Kaiser being a $20 capo does just the same amount of good as this G7 capo, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, I hope that was helpful. I wanted to kind of just talk about what my favorite guitar capo is. Buy some, test some out. Another quick thing to mention is it all depends on what kind of guitar you're playing too. So for me, I'm playing a Gibson acoustic most of the time. So I have found that the clamp on capos work best for me. But if you're pl playing a electric guitar or a different kind of an acoustic, um, you may find that the, the screw on capos are what you like or prefer. So I think it just is a little bit of experimentation and, and preference, but my favorite is that Kaiser quick change capo. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna be posting more videos soon about how to learn guitar on YouTube. I started learning guitar on YouTube when I was 21 years old. So now I wanna really try and make that process as easy as possible for you guys too. So yeah, I'll be posting more videos on that and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.